All right, all right, all right, everyone. My name is Echo Tango, and welcome back to Starbound. Previously, we went into the Great Sovereign Temple and retrieved the Avian Artifact. Now today, I plan to do the All Things Penguin. So what does that mean? It means I would like to take down the Penguin Pirate Dreadwing, as well as the Shockhopper Mark I, which you, which if you remember a few episodes ago, and we lost miserably too. But as usual, let's see what off-camera work yielded us today. Which is quite a lot of things. So we got here a muddy bag sack, ourselves a Firgen cap, a new Shanka, Bandit's bandana, mutagen backpipe, plague doctor mask. So those are all the vanity items I managed to get. Some of them are actually found on this um, jungle planet that you see me orbiting right now. Two of the items here, the mutagen backpipe and a plague doctor mask, as well as, let me see if I can find it, um, this toxic waste. I actually actually found on a toxic planet, which you can find orbiting radioactive stars and above, meaning frozen stars and fiery stars. And let me just tell you, a toxic planet is very, very dangerous stuff. I, I just took a boat out there, and I got poisoned straight away. And that poison was pretty much infinite, or I guess I could say eternal, like I couldn't get rid of it. And it turns out, I did a little bit of research on that, and actually, the air itself is poisonous. So you can't really work around or go down onto a toxic planet without getting yourself poisoned, no matter if you're on land, if you're riding a boat out on toxic waters or anything like that. It turns out you actually have to make antidote for that, but I don't plan to do it today because I don't want to go to a toxic planet right now. But yeah, I found, like I said, I found these two items down on a toxic planet. What else? Now, what else did I find? So, what did space anomalies yield me? Well, five of the blueprints. Let's see what they are. Learn to craft a Gatling gun mech arm. Not this is different from the Tommy gun mech arm. This is a little different. Uh, sleek mech boosters. Okay, we already have. Uh, sleek mech legs. We already have. Okay, got another one. Cannon mech arm. We already have. Apparently, these advanced mech blueprints don't yield me any don't yield any new mech bodies. At least that's what it seems like. Now, yeah, what else? Okay. On um, again the planet that you see me orbiting right now, I actually found, I actually found was a ruined Hylotal library, as well as a above ground Hylotal city, and it yielded me some interesting codexes. Well, actually, okay, not this one though. Whippy King Part Two. I found another penguin ship, so that's a little different. And so that's two pages, like the usual codexes. Pause if need be. Okay. I think these next few, oh, okay, these four, yes, those are from those high level places I just mentioned. This manifesto of the grounded is actually an avian text, which if you remember going back all the way to that pirate ship that we were on, I completely missed a book, I completely missed a bookcase that was pretty much right in my face, so I have no idea how I missed that, I'm so sorry, but anyways, this is what's on it, manifest of, manifesto of the grounded. And again, pause the AV. Hedaosum Hyalto text. A pledged of the scholar. Okay. Actually, we, I just noticed we have a lot of Hyalto text, don't we? A culture of beauty. Wow. Yeah. Two pages. The fall of our peace. It's an old Hyalto poem. Actually, let me just go ahead and read this. We were pacifists. Who did not comprehend war? Thus came the floor. Wait, who did not who did not comprehend war? These are wait, these are all haikus. Five seven five five syllables, seven syllables, five syllables. Driven beneath seas. Our knowledge was lost to flames. All was nearly lost. They may not recall, but they nearly caused our end. Do not forget this. Okay. Three haikus. That's pretty cool. In defense of our race is the last codex. Alright. Positive EV. Alright, other things I got. Um, electric bomb collar and the healing tube collar. So those are other pet collars that I found. I got these two armor pieces. They're armor pieces. I got these off a of merchant. And I, I, I particularly bought these. I'm not going to wear them. But I bought them because that merchant was selling both at the same time. That was, that I have not seen before. I mean, I go around to merchants and all, but they usually sell one armor piece of a specific set. This guy was selling, like I say, 
two of the same armor set. So that's pretty good. And then last is this time pierce, the broadsword. Two-handed. Works just like you think. It's a sword. Look at that damage. I mean, not damage, but look at that swing. Okay. Yeah, but here's the interesting thing. If you right-click it, Look at that, and if you notice, my energy went really, really low. So it means you use up a lot of energy, but what it does, it just it stops time, allowing you to put in some extra hits, and that's cool, but it does use a lot of energy. However, it's still close range melee, so I don't think I'll ever be using that. Anyways, let me go ahead and put away all this stuff. So, where do I get all this? Let me put these in here the legendary weapon up here any special hats actually pretty doing shift click here it makes it faster uh, other things cool and then pet collars where do i usually put my pet collars oh yeah down here no 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 stay, stay. no need your pet collars usually go down here Pet collars, like I said before, is something I don't plan to do in at least in the next in, anytime soon when it comes to episodes. Now, anyways, let us prepare to go to battle. So, what do I want to bring? I want to actually I'm try out a few different weapons because I just want to see how they operate. I might try. Should I try the Neo Magnum? I mean, the ray gun is pretty. It's, it's it's ray gun is actually pretty good against um large targets. Neo Magnum. Hmm. I have to do a little bit of thinking about this. I'm not sure how I want to do this. I definitely want to try to solo this captain out. I think that'd be pretty cool. So I'll take that. Hmm. Oh, but the ray gun's so cool though because it's oscillating. But it does fire really well. Actually, hold on. Let me let me try. Let me just go out to just to test the weapons first. Maybe out here, uh, I'll just remind you of how they operate. So here's a ray gun. And it's pretty steady. The accuracy is pretty steady on that one. And here is what's it called again? Uh, Neo Magnum. Which is excellent, which is also upgrade. Fire, la, fat, slow rate of fire. Uh, energy drain. This is faster rate of fire. Very similar energy drain. Um, you know, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna take the ray gun. Take the ray gun. That sounds good to me. Anyways. Let's go down to the two-stop teleshop. Uh, sell some things. Let's take a look at that new mech part that we see that I just that that we just saw, um, and then head on over to fight Dreadwood. Okay, so as usual, sell some things. Let's see, sell these. Is there anything else I should sell? Oh, also, I found an astronomy telescope, but that's just decorative, so I didn't necessarily want to mention that as much. No, I guess not. Oh, dang, I should also bring food. Oh. Let's see here. Okay, mech parts. Let's see that new what? Let's see that new gun? I just, I just want to take a look at it. Gatling gun. Hmm. A mech art equipped with a heavy Gatling gun. Let me just compare that. I just want to see the energy usage. 0.25 megajoules per second. Uh, so that's 25. My homing missile is also 25. And where's my laser? I can use That was also 25. So it doesn't really matter. You, whatever weapons you decide to choose, go ahead and choose them. Anyways, let me get some food. Some food. Food. Alright. 
Well, what was my hope? Alright. I'm gonna take these eight grapes. The, uh, is that, t is that tomato soup? Yeah, tomato soup. The cake. And... I guess the jam with me. That'd be pretty good, I think. And so we got all our food. Let us go and fight Dreadwing. The proprietor of the Beak Easy requires assistance. Defeat Dreadwing. And I shall. Alright, Dreadwing. Let me take some food. Let's see what's happening. I'm gonna use these ones. Oh! Oh, Jesus! I didn't think I was armed and dangerous. I didn't think I took care of them pretty fast. Look at that healing up just in case. Oh. Can I get over here? Okay. Hmm. Okay. So there's nothing over there in particular. Dreadwing should be out here somewhere. Man. These dangerous penguins in there. The guy's in a tank. Tank taken out. Whoa. Oh, it's like a little retreat for a second. Oh boy, that's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on here, let me tell you that. Can I use this? No, okay. Gotcha. There's another penguin out here. Okay. Oh, there he is! Okay, found Dreadwing. I just want to take out these little guys first. Okay, there's a guy. Okay. Guy still down here. Whoa! Alright, all the all the little guys are out. Now it's just Dreadwing. Where are you? Oh jeez. Man, it's so hard to get him. Come on. Can I take some food? Okay, take some food. Oh man, dang it, I missed. Taking a lot of, he's taking a lot of hits here. I mean, I'm taking a lot of hits here. But it's so hard to hit. I, I just should probably. Uh, I actually kind of want to change weapons here. Is he gonna follow me? Whoa! He just summoned a penguin. Get some hits in there. Oh, geez. That's a grenade. Or. He's got an RPG on him. Where even is he? Oh, geez. Where is he? There we go. Okay, get some good hits. Oh, those are some really good hits.
Oh, he's in prison. Man. These guys are accurate, you know. Oh, we got some good hits there. Yeah, there we go. Food. Walk there. Yeah, I notice he's got. Come on, get back up. Man, this is a fight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, these are still these little guys on here. Can I take out these little guys? Okay, he's he's doing that kind of attack again. So I took out one of the one of the orbiters. Come on. Okay, I actually took out another orbiter. Hmm. Okay, dodge through that. Kind of. I don't know anymore. Oh, well, he's always down. Okay, he's in a whole position. We got him. Yeah, we destroyed him. Is there anything else? Is there anything else around here? Okay, I don't think there's anything else over there. Okay. Now let me go back over to the teleport. I'm not sure where that's supposed to take me. It's gonna take me back to the beak easy, or is it gonna take me back to my ship? That's what I'm wondering. Oh man, we defeated him! We defeated Dreadwing! That was intense, actually. That was actually pretty intense. Okay, back to Outpost. Alright, down to the beak easy we go. Penguins, wait, what do you say? Are unflappable. Yesterday I laughed so hard I was choked on my macaroon. Well, look at all these guys. These are all mercenaries. Let's talk to him. Bartender. You sorted them out for me? Thanks. Now I'm back in business. Come speak to me if you want a doubloon to hire penguin work. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's see, where is it? Okay, reward bag. And, a, and Dreadwing, to pe Dreadwing to Penguin to Codex. As usual with bosses, we read their codexes. Dreadwing to Penguin. Gather ye round and hear tell of Dreadwing, scourge of the universe, bane of all spacefarers. Seldom a day goes by without some new nefarious scheme occurring to this contemptible beast. He prowls the stars in his flying saucer, leaving naught but bitter resentment in his wake. Followers flock to him, drawn by respect or compelled by fear. At the sound of his name, his enemies scatter to the four winds. He is Dreadwing, the small blue penguin. And we have defeated him. And our reward? <coughs> Teleporter core. Okay. Anyways, um, they do mention him about getting doubloons. You need a doubloon, which requires three diamonds. So let me go back onto the ship and get it, and maybe before us get some heal-ups. And I'll meet you guys back down at the Beakeasy. Okay, so we're back at the Beakeasy. Now we have our, we actually have our three diamonds that we need, and here we can buy ourselves the blue, a contractual token accepted by Penguin Mercenaries at the Beakeasy. The blue. All right. So you notice there's these guys just wandering around. Here's one. Hire Weggy to join your crew, your crew for one to blue. And now you should notice that all Penguin Mercenaries have the job soldier. I don't know. How about this guy? 
Like, come back. Come back. Interesting. They got, this guy actually has a shotgun. Hire Aggie to join your, join your crew for one to blue. That's a possibility. Weren't there other guys around here? I swear there were. Let me just take a look around for a little bit. Okay, here's one. Hire Icky for one blue. He's got a cool hat. They all got pretty cool hats. Hire Leggy for one blue. I don't know. A lot of good choices. I don't know if you know if they're male or female. <laughs> this guy, though. Hire Aggie. This guy seems cool. Wait, what is his job? Trady Security Mastermind. One. I don't know if I can just interact them normally. Loose cannon soldier. Low quality or security negotiations. Uh, I don't know. Not necessarily the best job titles. This guy, Aggie, though. He seems cool. Where'd he go? Here he is, Aggie. Trady Security Mastermind. I shall hire him. Let's go back to the ship. Hmm? And look at it. We got ourselves a merc. Can't believe I died when I was right in the middle of something. Hmm? Oh, well, I'm actually, I don't want to take you on just yet. Hmm? So we got ourselves another crew member, so that's pretty good. Anyways. <clears throat> <clears throat> we should be getting prepared for our next mission here. Which is, um, what's his name? Weapons Testing Site, Shock Harbor Mark 1. Now, I actually did a little bit of research on this. After you defeat Shock Harbor Mark 1, there's actually going to be a penguin weapon shop that opens. So hopefully we get to that. And actually, this is where this is where you can take some legendary weapons. Say this Chakram. So, you know, like I said, say this chakram or these two fists here, and actually you can use um, upgrade modules and a few other ingredients. I probably stored them away, didn't I? Yeah, I stored them away, and make more powerful weapons out of them. So hopefully we get to do that today. But if I, there are particular weapons that I want, and actually this shop operates on a 24-hour basis, just like um, just like frog furnishing. So what I mean is that. The, got, the penguin there will only be able to upgrade two particular weapons out of a, out of a rotating um, stock of weapons, okay? Um, so anyways, what are some of the ingredients? Okay, I know these are definitely some good choices here. Um, I'll put on these venom samples and sharpened claws. Uh, so, wow, there's, there's actually a lot of good choices out there, I must say. And yeah, you never you, you never know what you might find. So th those are some ingredients. Those are just some ingredients that you can use, if I remember correctly. But anyways, it's time to go to the weapons testing site and do another rematch against okay, the shock cover Mark One. So I'll meet you there. Actually, before we do, I just want to show you these. Actually, I want to change out my weapons again. So Solus Katana and the ray gun. So remember the ray gun it fires like this. Infinite range, basically, so I can hit shock hopper mark one. And now this is just normal close range. But if you jump up, it explodes. Show again. And you actually get a little bit of delay up and above. So, uh, huh. yeah. So that'll be good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start off with that weapon. This is gonna be cool. I, I'm really excited for this. So, we're here. Let's go ahead and where's my food? Let's take some food. Look at all that. Oh, extra jump height, extra energy. All right. I want a rematch. Oh, dang, I missed. Oh, 
got electrify there. So, flamethrower. Again. Oh, wow, dash. No, he's doing double dashes. Come on. No, oh, I took two hits. Okay, he's doing his electro attack again. Not again. Oh, I'm on fire! Oh man. No! Man! Okay, he's doing the electro shock attack again. Oh, we're so close! Come on, let's finish it off with the like the ray, the 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 ray, the, 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 the ray gun. Oh my gosh! But we did it! We actually defeated Shock Hopper Mark One. Uh, these weapons actually work really well. I really like the Souls Continent now. for a really close range work. It actually does work pretty well against Shock Hopper Mark One, considering it is a big target. And this works real. I know this works really well with big targets because it's. It's always going to be firing like that, and because it wobbles up and down, it's great against big targets, right? So, mm -hmm. thanks for helping me test my mech, friendo. I'll see you back in my workshop. So what exactly did we get? Amazing, like, I didn't take much of my food. Let me just take some more food, just to heal up a little bit. Okay, <laughs> ice block, that was from outside. Uh, okay, Shock Harbor Mech M Mark 1, Codex, an advert for the Shock Harbor Mech Mark 1. Let's take a look at it. A new fantastic offer. Have you ever wanted to combine the hydraulic fist of a Pugno Punchomatic, the ball lightning production capabilities of the Storm of Tron 5000, and the firepower of the Theta 8 ground to air missile launcher? Well, now you can, with Dr. Agagi's Shock Hopper Mark 1. I should also mention that I, in the past, have called Dr. Agagi a he, when in fact it's actually a she. <laughs> so, my bad about that. Other basic features include. Dash thruster is capable of the speed, of speed and flight. A wide fire, broad barreled flamethrower, and ergonomic controls for easy flipper use. Get yours today. Well, how about it? <clears throat> how about it? Is there anything else? Nothing. Anything I can scan? A very retro looking flying saucer. Can't do anything with it. A handy link to outpost. Have I never scanned that? That's a good question. How have I never scanned that? Okay. 
Alright, let us go back to the outpost. So I'll meet you guys back at Dr. Agagi's shop. Alright, so we're back at Dr. Agagi's shop. Let's take a look. Let's get our mission reward. Thanks for the intense testing session, friendo. It gave me a lot of useful data. I've also sent out a shipment to my weapon distributor. His stall should be open right here at the outpost already. And that's the shop I was talking about earlier. Let's take a look at that. Reward. Pollen Pump. I actually have one of those already, if you remember from the sewers that we saw way long time ago. What's your next mission, though? I have a design for a new mech body that hits you perfectly. I've also been making a more advanced test course in an asteroid field that, of course, needs a trial run. If you can get through the advanced test course with your own mech, I can give you the blueprint. It's a win-win scenario, right? Sure. So I guess talk to you whenever you're ready? Sure. Are you ready for me to test you to my- send you to my advanced mech test course? You might want to assemble strong enough mech before you go. Sure, let's go ahead and do it. I think- I think the mech I have right now is pretty good. And then you also mentioned that this is the next- that this is the other time- that this is the possible time I can see my new mech with my new weapons, and new boosters and legs. Well, take a look at it, guys, and I can fly super fast. Okay, that's a wall. And there's nothing else. Seriously, nothing else around here? Okay. Borders. Wow, there are a lot of borders, aren't there? I just want to see how big the borders go. Okay, the borders go pretty big. But anyways, where's that arrow sign? Wait, where's that arrow sign? Didn't I just see it? Oh, okay, here it is. So anyways, here's the uh, laser gun, and here's the missile. And these guys, are, these missiles are guided. And shall I also mention that you can hold down left, left and right mouse buttons so you can fire both weapons at the same time? Well, you can do pretty much with any of these setups. So, let's go ahead and do that. Fast attack. Is there anything else here? Okay, more of these guys. First of all, what am I just getting? A salvage nano receptacle. I think I do it. Okay, I. Of course, like I usually do, I do usually do quite a lot of research. That's actually a higher level, higher tier mech component. Can I destroy these? Okay, I can't destroy those. What else is- oh! Fighter! Oh, these guys, these guys are bad. Aha! Gotcha! Now... Yeah, so, what's it? You got low tier mech threats, you got moderate tier mech threats. Those salvage nano receptacles are found in the tier above moderate. I, I, what, I don't I don't know what it's called. Risky? High? Something like that. Okay, a lot of saw blades. Gotta avoid those. Okay, got an enemy down here somewhere. Oh, these guys. Oh, that guy's easy me. Easy me. Okay. Moving around. Okay, a lot of saw blades. Do I go up this way? Nope. Okay, continue going down. Another enemy somewhere. Oh, one of these guys. Gotcha. Okay. There's an enemy over there. I can't go over there right now. Wow, okay, where am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to go around... Okay, yeah, go around this way. No, 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 is this... Wait, what? The, the arrows point me... No, 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 this is where it came from. The arrows point me in this direction. I can't go anywhere. Wait a second. <laughs> through here. Probably through here. Are you serious? Am I seriously stuck out here? No, this is telling me to go this way. Please don't tell me I have to. No, I can't just drill through things. What? Why is that? Am I not actually genuinely stuck out here? Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! There's this- Oh, no, 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 get away from it! I didn't see this. How- How did I miss that? Okay, so there it is. Okay. Moving on. There's something out there. I can't just go in there. I mean... Could I? And try to get my guy over there. 
see. So can I do it? No. I can't do it. Okay, well, let's move on. Out this way we go. Ooh, quite a lot of hostiles. Okay. You're a tough cookie, aren't you? Okay, how do we go down here? There's another enemy over there. I can't get him. Get to them. Is there anything else around here? Okay, there are these targets. Took out one. Took out the other. Okay, this should go, go. Let us go into this crafty area. Anything here? Okay, there's a target. Okay, there's this guy. Come on, use your legs. Can I actually get out here? No. Okay. Can I? Okay, jumping doesn't help me go faster. <laughs> there is an enemy right above us somewhere. Oh, enemy! Anything else around here that I should be aware about? No, okay. Okay, okay it tells me to move this way. I know there's enemy right here. Let's take a look. Just to make things a little bit easier for us. I've got it. Whoa! Several enemy readings. Down here, I know. Whoa! Down here. Gotcha. Anything else down here? No. Okay, moving on. A lot of saw blades in Holy cow. Be careful. Oh, got it, my one. That guy should be an easy beat, though. Anything this way? Okay, no. Nothing this way. Uh. Him. He was easy meat. Another. I just noticed I took a cannon out there. Was there anything else? Okay, another cannon. Another cannon. Okay, there's gotta be one more. Okay. I'm spawning mine. All right, that's everything. Those are all the targets we're gonna clear. All right, gravity area. This teleporter indicates that you've completed Dr. Agnese's advanced test course. You should report back to her. Okay, cool. Is there anything else around here? No, I guess not. Alright, let's exit and let's go home. Back to the outpost. I'll meet you guys back over at Dr. Aggie's. Alright, so we're back to Dr. Aggie's. You made it! I guess I didn't install enough giant saw blades. I sent the blueprint for your new mech body part to the mech part crafting table. Thanks again. It sure is helpful having a lab assistant. Oh, I guess that's all the missions for her then. So let's, let's take a look at this new blueprint. Venture. Venture, okay. Not Venture Zero Zero, this is Venture. A sturdy mech body, originally designed by the Lithia Corporation. Lithia, Lithia, I really want to pronounce it. So what does this require? Dura steel, armor plate, and salad proton remitters. Oh, thank goodness we have all those parts. And then, I don't want to make anything new. So, Venture mech body will be our new body. So next time you see me pile on a mech, you'll see this body. <laughs> Anyways. Hold on, let's go ahead and take a look at um, what the new guy has to offer. Not the new guy, the 
this guy here. What's his name? Biggie's Reputable Weapons. So this is what he has to offer, a Lunar Rang and a Neo Chakra. Now, not what I necessarily want, unfortunately. But, um, those are, those are, those are good. Okay, when it comes to Chakra, I, I did bring my Chakra. There's a particular Chakra that I did want. Just to remind you, this is, this is the Chakra right here. Um, so you notice he's selling the Neo Chakra. There's one I want called the Saw Chakra, because I was taking a look through all the weapons that he had that he offers. Um, the Saw Chakram has the best trade-off when it comes to damage and distance that the Chakram can go. So I really want to get that one. Boomerang. That's cool. Unfortunately, I don't have a Boomerang. So that's not going to work out for me. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and make that, um, that, uh, mech body off-camera. And I'll, and I'll meet you guys back on the ship for what's ahead. Alright, so, next plan of action. I don't, I don't remember where it was, hold on a second. Next plan of action. Where's, is it here? And I can't remember where the EPPs, where I craft the EPPs. Maybe it's here. Ah, oh, here it is. Okay. Anyways, our next thing, our next course of action is to get ourselves a heating EPP because I would like to go down to a freezing star, I think is what it's called. A cold star, freezing star, and start mining some Aegis Salt and Ferrosium, which is you can you see here. Refined Aegis Salt. Yeah, frozen stars, okay. Or for refined Aegis Salt is primarily found on planets orbiting frozen stars. Or for refined ferrosium is primarily found on planets orbiting frozen stars as well. Because that's gonna be our next arbor and weapon upgrades. Those are those requirements. And also, frozen stars are where we're likely to be finding apex settlements. But even though I've already found apex settlements, I don't necessarily need to go out there and look for them, even though I can if I want to. I'll probably just do that off camera. So those apex settlements that I have found personally already, I'm going to go and show you to uh, show those to you in another episode. So what is? Whoops, not refinery. Nah, dang it! I keep I keep going to the wrong place. What does this require again? Heating EPP. This upgrade adds heat generation to your EPP's capabilities useful on dangerous cold planets, so around frozen stars. Battery, okay, battery and scorched core. Battery. Can you make a battery again? Copper wire, okay. And I need a scorched core. So copper wire. And a scorched core. Sweet. Alright, battery. And heating EPP. Okay, and let's take a look at it. All right. Wait, where is it? Heating EPP. Okay. Now you should also know that any EPP upgrades that you make will uh, would automatically remove any augments inserted, so you have to reinstall a new one. So here are the ones you've seen me already collect these. You got a speed augment, you got an energy augment, healing augment, ice resist. I think let's go. Let's go ahead and put on healing augment. So we actually get some health regen in there, which is nice. Anyways, off we go to a frozen star. Now, where is a good frozen star? Where would I where would I find one? Well, these are pretty close by. Oh, there's a whole string of frozen stars. And there's actually a string of fiery stars right here. <laughs> So anyways, Frozen Star, Regia Morass, oh dang it, that's not good. It's just Midnight and Barren Planets? No. Boring. This one. Asteroids, Alien, Arctic, Gateway, Jungle, Midnight, Lunar, Barren, and Tundra. So new ones are Arctic, Midnight, and Tundra. Those are new to us. Let's go to that one. That one seems cool. Now also, where do you want to start? Hmm, that's a good question too. Wow, a lot of good choices. I'm actually stuck out in the middle of an asteroid field. This is a midnight planet, I believe, which you're not going to go to. I don't want to go to that right now. That's a gas giant. Another gas giant. Another midnight planet. Wow, there's three midnight planets. 
Look at this one. Okay, that's an, that's an Arctic planet. Let's go to this one. We're stuck in high Earth orbit. Let's go down to low. Low orbit. Alright. So now on a very new planet, an Arctic planet. Just make sure I got my... Yep, got my heating EPP upgrade. That's good. Beam down. Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot to check what minerals are on there. I usually do that right before I go. Hold on. I'm sorry. Let me go back up. Okay. It, is ha it has Violium, Aegis Salt, and Ferozium. Violium is another is another level, is another another tier of or above. It's actually above Aegis Salt. No. Actually, no. Violium, Aegis Salt, and Ferozium are actually the same tier. But it's nice. All three ores are on the same planet. And it's also got Durasteel on it. I need more Durasteel. I just want to go make sure I check that. All right, so let's go. Actually, now let us beam down. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh man, where to start? Where's a good cave system? That's what I'm. Doing. Oh good. Look at that. Oh, a lot of water, huh? I was worried about that. Should I just? Are there any caves? Do I have to go? Underwater to do these sort of things. Let's find out. Sounds like this is almost like another kind of ocean planet, except frozen. Back off. Gotcha. Yeah, but okay, this is not suitable equipment for, um, oh, definitely not suitable equipment for underwater purposes. Maybe I shouldn't go here. Oh, another teleporter core. But anyways, I think I should take, I think I should take my boat around. Wait, is there something here? There is something down there. I gotta buy myself a broken anchor. What's down here? A chest with water balloons. Congratulations. Just, wow, a chest is straight out of a fairy tale. But it's, it's nice what you get to see around here sometimes. Maybe there's more stuff. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of this definitely looks very similar to an ocean planet. Maybe we'll find... Okay, I'm trying to take the boat. Can I not take the boat? I want to take the boat. Just travel around on the surface a little bit. Don't chase me, you fish. I don't want to be chased right now. Thank you. Why can't I... Can I not deploy boats? What? Oh, wow. Cool. Nice. Maybe I need to... Maybe I should go and repair... It didn't tell me I need to repair it, though. That's so weird. I don't know why it's not letting me control it. Anyways, let's go beam back up. That's not the best place to mine. I just want to show you... Okay, my plan is actually for the rest of the time here. I just want to show you just a little bit of mining, you know, ferozium, agasalt, violium, and just call it done. That's not the best plan to go, so let's go to instead this midnight planet out here. Hmm, that's gonna be interesting. Alright. Surface is, Scan showed that the surface is dark. In fact, scan show a little else on account of all the darkness. However, I surmise that the surface is dangerously cold. And it has the same stuff, basically. So, let's go down. So, do I have anything else in the inventory that I don't need right now? Okay, let's take that away. I got all this extra stuff. Ice. Oh, 
don't know why, I still don't know why my boat controller is wor not working. I have to go check that out. All right, beam down. It'll be very, very dark out here, but I hope we actually find some. Oh, right into a cave system. Nice. So here's what it looks like on the surface. Yes, very dark. And there is something here, though. What is that? Evil eye. Rate of fire. Huh. Well, that's a... Holy cow, I'm just looking at the price. 5,250 coin? Pixels? Holy cow. Well, I gotta try this out. I, I gotta try this out. Okay. It fires eyes. And I just realized there's a chest here. Okay. What did I just get? Baby a larva? Oh. Oh, they're eggs! Am I supposed to get those? This is like a hive. What? Well, I'm killing things. Holy cow, wait, how? What's a range? Okay, you, you lob them, though. I'm yet to see enemies around. Oh! Holy cow! Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, that... That was something. Now, is it worth it? They do bounce around on the ground. So, huh. I'll, I'll definitely give it a go. I'll, I'll consider it. Anyways, that's not what we're here for. It's not just to collect weapons. What a gross light, because they're low. Ugh. That's weird. Oh, there's another one. It actually does really well. I'm actually, I'm actually really impressed. What's this? Oh, that's just cockroach one. But yeah, these are high blocks. Ugh, this is weird. This is so weird. Anyways. We have to be searching for... We actually have to be searching for minerals here. Oh. Okay, took care of him. Okay. A desert mine. This look a, looks a little bit more reasonable. Am I going to find anything interesting? This actually does pretty well. And you can ult them. Which is nice. Huh. Oh! Okay, here's some Aegis Salt. You just saw me mine Aegis Salt. That's cool. Okay. Hey, what's that up there? Oh, no. Oh, that's... F wait. That's ferrosium ore that you just saw me. Okay, so that's what ferrosium looks like. That that blue looking stuff. And here is violium. So that you just saw me mine everything. And you know what? I actually want to go ahead and end the episode on that note, leaving leaving you to well, preferably not see me mine. And I don't know where I am. I just fell down a really big pit. And I need to heal up. Anyways, like I was saying, I'm gonna go ahead and end this door. And end this not end this door, even though I just found a challenge room here, which you've already seen me do at one point. So, anyways, like I was saying, I'm gonna end this episode here. So thank you all for watching this episode. If you liked what if you liked this episode, drop a like down below and let me know how I'm doing. And if you want to see more of my content, want to hit the subscribe button. It'll help out me, and it'll help out you. So once again, thank you all for watching. Until next time, I'll see you around.